Hi there, Grade Eights, and welcome to Worksheet Cloud Maths. My name is Jo Milligan, and I'm going to take you through some facts about algebraic expressions. First of all, how to write them, um, then how to simplify them, and then how to evaluate them. Okay? If at any stage you don't understand anything and you want to ask a question, remember to just send an email to that email address at the bottom of your page, and somebody will get back to you. Right, first of all, we have to look at what an algebraic expression actually is. It indicates a sequence of calculations that can also be described in words or with a flow diagram. So for example, multiply a number by two and add six to the answer. That is in words, as you can see. This would be the flow diagram for that sentence, and it's an unknown number times by two and added six. And that, as an algebraic expression, would look like that. x plus two, sorry, x times two plus six. Okay, that would be the expression. It's written in algebraic form. Okay, so your expression would actually look like this. 2x plus six. Remember, the x is the unknown value. You can call that unknown value anything you'd like. You can call it A or B or Y or Z. But for today's lesson, we're going to refer to unknown values as x. Okay, now you try. See if you can write that as an expression. 2 times a number added to 3 times the same number. Okay, did you get that? 2 times x plus 3 times x. And if we make it simpler, it would just be 2x plus 3x. Okay, right, let's go on. Let's break this down. 2 times a number added to 3 times the same number. Okay, that give, it, give the unknown number a name. Like I said earlier, you can give it any name you like. But today, we are going to call it x. So both unknown numbers have the same value, and they can both be called x. If you choose to use y, both of them would be called y. Okay, so these words then translate to 2 times x plus 3 times x as an algebraic expression, and can also then be written 2x plus 3x, which just looks a whole lot tidier. Okay, let's try one more. Half a number subtracted from 5 times that number, it would be 5x minus half x. You might have written half x minus 5x, but let me explain to you why it's the other way around. Okay? We break this one down, we've got half of a number subtracted from five times that same number. Okay, the same number is, we're dealing with only one unknown value, so we can give it them both the same name, and we will call it x again. And so we are then, we need to look at the word from, in this case here, because we are subtracting half x from five times x. So we need to write it 5x minus half x. It would be like me asking you to subtract 2 from 3. If you were to write that, it would be 3 minus 2. Okay, let's go on. You can try these now all on your own. So you can pause the video and you can try them out and then we'll go over them together. Right, let's see what you did. The first one is a number less 7. Again, you can call it A, B, Y, Z, whatever you'd like to call it. We're going to call it X again. And that would be X minus 7. See this time? It wasn't from 7. It was a number less 7. That means you subtract the 7 from the number. Okay. Half of a number added to 6. That would be half X plus 6 or 6 plus half X. Remember, adding, we can write it any which way we like, any way around. Okay, the next one. 9 times a number divided by 2 would be 9x divided by 2. Next one. 3 times a number increased by 4. You've got it. 3x plus 4. And then a quarter of a number subtracted from 8. Remember, there's our from again. Let's have a look. It would be 8 minus a quarter x. Well done, guys. I'm sure you got those all right. Right. 
Now we're going to look and see how we can simplify the expressions. Okay? 5 times a number, add it to 6 times the same number, and then subtract 4. Wow, that seems like quite a long sentence, but let's go through it slowly. 5x plus 6x minus 4. Now, because you've got 5x and a 6x, those are both the same unknown numbers. So, we could say, we can put them together and say it's 11x minus 4. Can you see that? You've got an unknown number of that x and that x, five of those and six of the same things, you'd get 11 of them. If I were to say to you, you've got five eggs and six eggs, then you could say I've got 11 eggs. It would be the same kind of thing, see? Right, now you can try. Try those ones. Pause the video again, have a go, and we'll go over them together. Right, let's see how you did. 2 times a number subtracted from 3 times the same number would give you 3 minus 2x is the, and that would be the same as just plain x because you've got 3x's and you're minusing 2x's from that, you're left with 1x. Right, the second one, 4 added to a number and subtract 2 times the same number. Let's see what happens here. We've got 4 plus an unknown x minus 2x. So here we've got a positive x and a negative x. So if you have minus 2x and you add on an x, you've actually just got x, so it would be 4 minus x. Let's go over that one just one more time. You've got a positive x here. You're minusing 2x's from it. You would end up then with a negative x. So it would be 4 minus x instead of 4 plus x. Right, let's go over the next one. A number added to 7, and 3 times that number is subtracted. Let's see what happens here. x plus 7 minus 3x. Again, you've got a positive x. If there's nothing in front of it, it means it's positive. And here you've got a minus 3x. So you're adding an x on to your minus 3x. So then you would end up with 7 minus 2x. You could possibly also write it minus 2x plus 7. It just looks a little bit more messy. Right. So far, we've looked at writing algebraic expressions from words and how to simplify the expression. Now we're going to look at how to evaluate these expressions. Okay. We can only evaluate an expression if we are given the value of x. And remember, the x is the unknown number. So we can't give an expression a value unless we are actually given the value of that x. So let's have a look here. So if we are told x is equal to 3, then we can work out the value of the expression 2x minus 1. And how do we do this? Well, we would substitute the 3 into the expression in the position of x. So it would be three, 2 times 3 minus 1. So we would write it like that, or we can write it like that. The only reason I wrote it like that was because the x looks sits next to the 2. So it's the same thing, 2 times 3 and then minus 1. Okay, because we now have an actual value, we can carry out the operations in the expression to find the answer. So 2 times 3 would be 6, and 6 minus 1 would give me 5. Right, have you got it? So let's go over that again. We can only substitute in when we are given the value of the x. So we're given the value up here, we are told that x is equal to 3. So 2 times 3 would give me 6. 6 minus 1 is 5, and that would be the value of that expression. Right, let's go on. It's your turn now. I want you to find the value of the expression x minus 2x, where x is equal to 2. So you can pause the video, and you can try that out, and then we'll go over it. Okay, so what's the value of your expression 4? Let's break it down. We've got 8 minus 2x, where the x is equal to 2, so it's 8 minus 2 times 2, that's 8 minus 4, and so the value of your expression is 4. Okay, try those on your own, grab a piece of paper, write them down, pause the video, and work them out. Okay, how well did you do? 8 minus 2x, where x is equal to 3, 
we're going to substitute the 3 in for the x, so it would be 8 minus 2 times 3, 8 minus 6, which gives me 2. 5x minus 7, where x is equal to 2. Same thing, we're going to go 5 times 2, 2 is in place of the x, which gives me 10 minus 7 is 3. One thing here, you have to write out the whole expression. So I can't just write 5 times 2 because I've got an equal sign. So my equal sign tells me that what is on this line is actually exactly the same value as to what is on that line. So if I left off the 7, 5 times 2 does not give me 5x minus 7. It doesn't equal that. So we must just be very careful with how we write things down, see? Okay, number 3, half x, where x is 10. Half of 10, we all know, is 5. 3 times 2x, where x is 4. Again, we're going to substitute in for the x, where it's 4. It will be 3 times, and in brackets, 2 times 4. So we'll do that first. Then we'll go 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 8 is 24. The next one, 3x plus 2x. Again, we're substituting in. 3x plus 2x. x here is 5. So 5, 3 times 5, plus 2 times 5, will be 15 plus 10, and that gives you 25. I hope you all got that, but let's look at the next thing. Remember when we simplified the expression? Well, that last one, we could probably simplify. So in question 5 was 3x plus 2x, where x was equal to 5. So because your variables are the same, your unknowns are the same, you can add them together before you substitute in. So we got 3x plus 2x, and that's the same as 5x. Remember when we simplified the expressions, we looked at putting those together. Okay, so x is equal to 5, and we can then multiply 5 times 5, and we end up with 25. So the answer to that expression would be 25. That is the same answer as what you got when you, did, when you didn't simplify the expression and you kept the two terms apart. It would be 3 times 5 and 2 times 5, which is 15 plus 10. And you also end up with 25. Can you see? You got the same answer. So you could do it either way around. You would end up with the same answer. Right, let's look at, see if it works for another example. Where 2x plus 4x and x is equal to 3. We've got 2 times 3 plus 4 times 3. That's 6 plus 12. And it gives me an answer of 18. Or we could go 2x plus 4x is 6x. 6 times 3 is 18. Can you see? Same answer. So whichever way suits you to work it out, you can work it out like that. You're going to get the same answer either way around. Right. Let's draw on everything you've learned today to try these. Okay. You can pause the video again. Try those out, and we'll go over them together. Right, let's see how you did. 2 times a number subtracted from 3 times the same number. We've got 3x minus 2x, and that would be x. We haven't been given the, the value of the x, so we can just simplify them. Right, 4 added to 2 times a number and subtract the same number is 4 plus 2x minus x would be 4 plus x. A number subtracted from 7 and 3 times that number is added. It's 7 minus x plus 3x and that would give you 7 minus 2x. Right, let's just revise what you've gone over today, what we've learned. So you've learned how to first of all write an expression in words. Then you learned how to simplify the expression and how to evaluate the expression when given a value for the unknown number. See, I made a little mistake here. It's how to simplify the expression, not and expression. And how to evaluate the expression when given a value for the unknown number. Now you can try the activity that has been posted, and then you can check it with the memo. Thank you for joining us today, Grade 8, and I hope you have understood everything. Just remember, if you haven't understood anything at all, you can email in. And the email address has been on each slide, so you can go back and check it. It is also on the activity worksheet, and somebody will get back to you with an answer or an explanation. Thank you for listening today.